Day coming up this week. Let's find out now from our chief meteorologist Kevin Robinson. Hey, Kev, is this true? Yeah, I believe so, Mike. We are certainly close enough to where we can almost see spring, but I tell you what, spring's nowhere in the forecast here, at least for the next couple of days. We've got rain overspreading the area as we speak. It's been pretty dry most of the evening. The rain a little slow to get in here, but it's gradually working its way right across the metro. None of this is terribly heavy. It's more in the way of a light to moderate rain right now, falling from Brighton Harrison to Miami Town, right across the Ronald Reagan Highway here as we head over towards the east side. Blue Ash, Newtown, Milford are seeing rain. Some heavier downpours over around Fayetteville up towards Pricetown, then back towards New Market and Hillsboro. This is lifting up north, so we'll be heading up towards 68. Now, notice there's a little bit of blue in here across parts of Clinton County. I'm not going to rule out that there may be a wet snowflake beginning to mix in with some of this activity, but primarily for the next couple of hours, it should generally remain rain. Then as we head over into southeast Indiana, some heavier showers over towards Brookville and Blue Grove, also over towards Dover and Bright, back down through parts of Dearborn County. We have a winter weather advisory that's going into effect tomorrow. This is primarily for the impacts of the snow that's going to take place tomorrow night into early Wednesday. Here's what we're looking right now around the metro. Generally a good one to three inches of snow. I believe for most of us here in the WLWT viewing area, this is a shovelable snow. There will be enough to pick up. Now I do believe there will be a sweet spot outside of the 275 loop north of the Ohio River where someone's likely to pick up three to five inches of snow, so some slightly higher totals as you get just north of the Ohio River. So here's kind of what you need to know about this system. It's raining now, right? Just showed you that on the radar. That's going to transition over to freezing rain by morning. Fortunately, though, because the ground's been fairly warm the past two days and we were what 60 today into the low 60s, I expect few if any real travel issues tomorrow morning. Now, there certainly could be maybe a little bit of a glaze in the trees, the power lines, maybe a little in the grass or even on your car, some of the colder surfaces, but I think the roadways are primarily just wet. The real trouble will be tomorrow night into Wednesday morning. I think you get fi home fine tomorrow evening as well, but accumulating snows begin tomorrow night once the sun goes down with the greatest impacts expected to be felt for the Wednesday morning commute. So here's kind of a general snowfall forecast. As I mentioned, most of us will pick up enough snow to shovel, but once you get outside the 275 loop from parts of Franklin, Butler, probably Clinton, Warren counties, maybe Brown Highland counties, as you head up 71 and 75, you're going to get into some heavier snow. Keep in mind, this will be a heavy wet snow as well, so it's going to be certainly make for slushy roads early Wednesday morning. I'll throw this out there too. This is a dynamic system and you know, March oftentimes can bring some surprises, so this bears watching. Here's the system tonight continuing to spread its way east through the Ohio Valley. Most of it's just rain now, but in time, colder air is going to start to mix in. In fact, we're already falling here in Cincinnati. We're down to 45. Check out that northeast wind. So the system basically is like taking a big gulp of much colder, drier air, and that's what's going to eventually allow the rain that continues through midnight and before the sun comes up tomorrow to eventually begin to mix with a little freezing rain. Notice the pink showing up. Good news, temperatures will only be hovering around freezing. And again, with the warmer conditions from earlier today, aside from maybe a little bit of a glaze on some colder surfaces, I think tomorrow morning's commute shouldn't be much of a problem. As we go through the day, temperatures actually warm up enough that everything is plain old rain. There could be some wet snowflakes or even a few showers throughout the afternoon, but there should be an overall let up until the afternoon. Notice five o'clock. It's all rain at this point. Temperatures are hovering in the low 40s. Things begin to change, though. Once the sun goes down, we will quickly see everything transition over to snow, and I think there will be a period of time tomorrow night through early Wednesday morning where it snows fairly heavy and travel will probably even be tricky if difficult and not in a few areas with temperatures around freezing. And keep in mind, it's a heavy, wet snow and there will be a lot of wind. So this will continue through Wednesday morning. This is why I think your best chance of a snow day is on Wednesday before it begins to taper off early Wednesday afternoon. So a wild forecast that doesn't have spring in it and spring starts tomorrow. Rain arrives with a little ice by morning, colder and breezy. And then for tomorrow, some rain and snow showers during the day with chilly breezes expected until it transitions over to snow with that wintry mix developing after six or seven in the evening. Initially, it will be rain. Here's your seven day forecast. We drop down to 27 tomorrow night. And again, there's your impacts on Wednesday morning. The good news, sunshine returns Thursday into Friday. And right now it's a little bit down the road, but it looks like 
like another weekend with maybe some chilly rains in here Saturday into Sunday. All right, Kev, thanks so much. Uh, obviously disappointing.